But today I'm going to teach you how to wire things. Every time I install like an outlet or a new fixture, you guys go wild and you're like, ah, teach me how to do electrical. <laughs> so the biggest mistake I see people making is glossing over the basics when it comes to electrical. That will literally catch your house on fire. So there's a few key things before we even talk about installing a light fixture that you need to know to be able to do electrical safely. So we're talking about those today. This is your crash course on Wiring 101 and then you'll be ready. One, types of wire. This is probably the biggest mistake I see people making when they're doing their own electrical is buying the wrong size of wire. So you can't just go to the store and buy like electrical wire. There's actually different sizes and they carry different voltages. So 15 amp, which you're going to see on your breaker, goes with 14 gauge or 14-2. And then 20 amp goes with 12 gauge or 12-2. We are taking wire from here, pulling it up, making a pit stop, and then going to the light. Now at every pit stop, we have to make a connection, and I'll show you how to do those next. Now that we have the right size wire, what the heck do these colors mean? So black is going to attach to your hot wire. It's the one that's bringing power into the box of your switch and or fixture. White is your neutral. It's going to complete the circle because electricity needs to run in a full circle. If you break the circle, i.e. turn off your switch, it's going to go off. And then this copper is your ground. So this acts like a mini lightning rod to bring the power into the ground should anything go wrong. Okay, so we can't straight up just wire these guys because they have this insulation. What gives them the color? We have to strip it down to the copper so it'll look like this at the tip. How you do that is with a pair of wire cutters. So find the hole that matches your wire gauge and then you're just gonna stick it in a little ways down Squeeze to make a cut and then kind of wiggle it and there you go. Two different type of ways to connect a wire to a plug or switch. The first one is there's going to be a little hole. You just insert the wire and then you're going to tighten the screw. If there's more than one type of screw, the gold one is going to go with the black and the silver is going to go with the white. The second option, if there's not a plate, is you're going to actually have to hook the wire like this, put it around the screw and then tighten it. For those of you wondering how the heck I know how to do all this, my dad was actually an electrical contractor and realtor growing up, so this was one of my high school jobs while all my friends had fun retail jobs with perky discounts. So to connect two wires together, you're going to use a wire nut. Inside there's some threading and you're basically going to twist this on the wires and it's going to hold them together so the power can go between them. Twist these wires together before you use the wire nut. At the base, I just give them a little cross, pinch onto that with your needle nose pliers and just begin twisting in a clockwise direction. Once they're twisted, you can go ahead and put the wire nut on, turning it clockwise as well. 